my video hello friends and welcome or welcome back to my channel i hope you are all well so today we have a nice super easy um very quick set of press-ons um and i'm using um the color number 52 from venalisa which is a lovely jelly nude pink color so I'm just giving the side of the nail a wipe because um, the polish was a bit thick on the side. Um, I used my finger because I did have gloves on. And yeah, we had a little mishap and I dropped the nails. But hey ho, you know, life happens, mistakes happen. It's definitely not all perfect when you film a YouTube video so I'm just fixing that off to the side and then once I've done the whole second coat it goes into the lamp for a full cure. Next I've just given them a quick matte top coat um, ready for the painting even though my, my matte top coat is a non-white I still like to give it a rub over with IPA because sometimes you still get a bit of sticky residue. Um, so that just makes it a nice um, surface to work on. And I'm just going to take a file and just refine the edges um, of the nail just to make sure it's a nice crisp line and shape. Right, so next I've put um, two Born Pretty colours onto a palette. So that is the Born Pretty CP04, which is that lovely pale pastel blue. And then I've also put one of the Sea Blue um, Magnetic uh, Gel Polishes as well. Um, I can't remember the number at the moment, but I will show you later on in the video so i'm just taking a fine detailer brush and just mapping out and um, a bit of a french line um apologies i do grow to shot um a lot here but you get the gist of it and yeah so i do my french lines um a few diff different ways um so this time i put a line in the center and then curved the line either side and then i'm filling it in with a angle brush um but you will see um on some of the other tips um i just do um a free hand and just tidy it all up so i'm using this blue color underneath first just to make sure that that um cat eye gel polish um really pops so it just gives it a bit of a darker color um to um sit on top and um, i'm just gonna repeat this process for all the nails and once the one set of nails are done i'll cure those while working on the set for my other hand but yeah, I'll just let you watch and I will speed through it a bit and I'll see you at the next step. And just before I do that, I just wanted to pop on and say um, apologies. Sometimes you might hear me um, mispronounce a word or something and that's because ever since i was a child um i suffered with a speech stammer and stutter um so sometimes i get a bit tongue tied and twisted so some of my pronunciations um will come out wrong so all i'm doing now is taking that magnetic gel um, i'm using the bottle brush to put some of the colors on to cover the vast um, amount of the area and then I will use my fine liner just to crisp those edges up and to make sure that the colour and the polish is spread evenly across that French 
tip and once I'm happy with that um, I'll just go in with a magnet and magnetize the polish um, there's no right or wrong way to use the magnet to magnetize just have a play about and you now just see what effect that you like and yeah i could sit and play with magnetic gels um for ages and as you know it is one of my favorites and out of all the brands i always say it i do find that born pretty has the best cat eye gel polishes in my opinion i'll fast forward um through one or two of the nails so you can see the effect of the cat eye but yeah i won't um sit you through doing all 10 nail tips and um yeah once i'm happy with how the tips are magnetized again just pop them into the lamp for a full cure So last thing to do is give them a top coat and of course I will be using Born Pretty's top coat. Then in for a full cure and we are done. So again easy peasy and super quick, effective but yeah I could wear these to work so they're a bit understated as well. So going through we use Venalisa number 52. Born Pretty um, BPCP04 for that blue colour. The cat eye was the C Blue Cat Magnetic and the Born Pretty Top Coat. And I will leave all the links and the description of the products down in the description box or in my comments. Due to the simplicity of the set, you could always jazz them up, add some embellishment, um, some gems. You could do some hand painting, maybe some stars or some flowers or love hearts on there as well. All of which would, yeah, just change the look of the nails. But that's everything for me for now. So um, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. But for me, it's goodbye. Hoidle Rao until next time. Bye, bye.